Welcome back, everybody, to the DayZ mod. Uh, I am your host, GTO Aviator, and we're picking up right where we left off with the last episode. Um, we are just on the outskirts of Kozlovka. Uh, actually, no, I take that back. We are just um, outside of the barn that was actually west of Kozlovka, and um, we uh, narrowly escaped a uh, just a small encounter with a zombie that was running after us um, from inside the second barn. But we uh, actually... Um, found the Lee Enfield rifle, so that's a pretty good progress right there because uh, the double, double barreled shotgun wasn't, wasn't, uh, wasn't cutting it for me. So um, we're going to go ahead and actually head northwest. Um, there are two points of interest that I'm looking at my interactive uh, DaisyDB.com map next to me on my uh, small laptop, and um, it's saying that there is actually a high value uh, looks like another barn, and it's in the city of um, Drozino. And uh, so I think, let's see, where did that road, there should be a road right around here. Uh, let's see, the road was, okay, so the road's going to be right here. Um, the road is going to, should actually lead us pretty much right to Drozino. Um, and it looks actually, hmm, I'm just kind of referencing this other map, trying to figure out which road we're going to follow, but, um, anyway, we're on, uh, uh, Seattle 13 is the server we're playing on right now, and I noticed when I came in, it was actually pretty packed with people, so I'm going to keep an eye on the local chat and make sure, uh, we don't have anybody kind of coming up to us, but, anyway, northwest is the direction, so we're just going to go ahead and head this way. Um, so anyway, yeah, there's a, there's a high-value barn in Drozino, and then after that, if we continue heading west, um, we'll be just on the outskirts, just south of, uh, looks like Zelen, Zelen Ogorsk. I don't know if I'm probably butchering that name, but, um, that says there's a supermarket there, and then there's also another high-value barn just south of that. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's rock. Let's, let's go ahead and find some stuff. Uh, character's getting a little thirsty. I've got some hydration to take care of that, but uh, I do want to find a backpack here pretty soon. So that is pretty much priority right now. And uh, not not die. <laughs> so I am feeling a lot better, guys. So um, hopefully I'm going to crank out some more videos here pretty quick. I'm hoping to do uh, a handful in the next day here. And uh, we're just going to see how far we can go with this character. Um, I'm down on blood a little bit from that from that zombie attack that we had in the last episode. I'm um, looking at about 9,400 units, uh, so um, keep an eye out for a blood bag always. But uh, you know that might might be worth keeping an eye out just because. And I guess with the blood bags, you need, you need to have a second character, or another another player to actually do the blood transfusion. So um, uh, hopefully, if hopefully we don't need to do that, but if we have to. That's going to be what we're looking at. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I was thinking about doing this earlier. I'm going to raise the brightness up a little bit. It's just a little too dark in here. Um, I was trying to figure out if it was that last server we were playing on. But, um, and it could just be the time of day. Uh, anyway, so I think that right there, that's that road we're following. That's going to basically head, bring us right into Trozino. And, in fact, uh, there's supposed to be some small residential on the outskirts of this high value barn we're going after. I bet that's it right there. Yeah, and in fact, there's supposed to be a north south road. And that road right there that we're looking at is heading uh, south. That's the southbound road. So, um, let's kind of sneak up here and um, hit up. Uh, hopefully, we'll find some stuff in here that's worth it. That's kind of, those are cool iron sights. I don't know how I, hmm. <laughs> seems like when I try to do it, it doesn't happen. There we go. Ah, nice. Try that for a little bit. I'm definitely going to be a little bit more confident uh, with approaching these cities now that I've got a, a more capable rifle. Um, and uh, one thing to note that I think is a little bizarre, I'm not sure if this is a bug or what, but when we left the last episode off, I actually had uh, nine rounds left in that magazine with two spares. And I noticed when I logged back in on this server, it actually refilled me to ten with two extra mags. So, not quite sure if that's a 
uh, server related bug or if that's just uh, a little bit of a glitch with this this mod but um let's see if we can't get in this this building here I don't think this is player enterable yeah this is one of those um, dead end doorways dead end doorway I call it yeah it's not going to let me in so um, and, that, and that, that was a low value residential but that uh, let's see the barn should be just down that direction actually that's probably it what we're looking at right now I'm pretty sure that's probably it um, seeing some perception yeah we got some zombies to our probably right through those trees there to our uh, yeah northwest so um, I'm gonna go ahead and oh yeah there we go I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut to the uh, south here to follow that southbound road up a little bit and um, we'll go from there kind of um, flank to the to the west along the just just south of this road and get into that barn. Um, and and I you know I was talking about it in the last video obviously, but I am pretty new to this mod. Uh, the next location we're going to hit is south of uh, Zelen Zelenog Zelenogorsk, I guess is the name of the city. Um, it says that it's a supermarket, and uh, I'm not familiar with what that means. I'm assuming it just means it's a really good high value spot. It could also mean it's some kind of interactive. Uh, that they've set up in the mod. I, I highly doubt that's what it is, but um, and again, I just inexperienced with the mod, so I'm not quite sure what it actually means. Okay, so we got some definite zombie action out here in the fields. I um, just want to be careful I don't get pinned up against uh, some place I don't want to have to deal with. Yeah, it sucks. Um, although our visibility meter is pretty freaking low, so I'm not too worried about getting. Um, getting spotted out here. Just gotta be careful. Uh, I'm not I don't even think I'm gonna mess with any of the residential buildings. They're they're typically pretty low in, in loot value. Ah, okay yeah that's that barn out there. I see it now. Definitely what we're going for. Uh, anyway the um the residentials are pretty crap from what I've discovered. I mean they are low value for a reason. Um According to the map, I'm, I'm, of course, when I say low value, medium value, and high value, I'm referring to the uh, this awesome D, uh, D, uh, let's see, DaisyDB.com map, and um, I'll put a link in the description to this video to make sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, get away from me. Um, but anyway, so yeah, according to that map, would how we know what the uh, value of the loot, the loot locations are. So, um, I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna see a zombie here pretty quick. Leave me alone! <laughs> I just wanna see what's in the barn, guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and crawl through here. A nice little thicket area. fence. I don't know if I can hop over it without giving me a big fat target, but I guess we'll try it. Yeah, that worked. Sweet deal. Alright. Uh, let's see, is this player enterable? No. Of course not. Can we even get out here? Oh yeah. Glitchy, glitchy. Actually, I don't know if that's a glitch or not. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, I mean, I'm actually, I think a lot of these vehicles are placed here because of the mods. So, okay, where are you at? Where are you at? Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I want to get in and out of this barn because I know that if I fire uh, this rifle, we're gonna have zombies all over the place after us. Damn it! And there's a zombie in there. For Christ's sake, of course. So. Let's see if I can't. And there's one right in there, maybe? Yeah, man, that's tight. I don't know if I can squeeze in there or not. Uh, maybe there's a back entrance? I can't really tell. Let's see if we. Ooh. Is that him 
hearing me? I can't tell. Sometimes when they uh, make their little sounds, it's hard to it's hard to tell. If, oh yeah, they, he did. Damn it. Oh, maybe not. It's another. Yeah, see, it's like he heard me, but now he doesn't know where I am. I can't tell if he's following me or not. This is pretty hot in here. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really I didn't get a view in that barn very well, but it kinda just doesn't have the vibe of being very high value. I can't tell what the hell is in there though. It's just a little too dangerous that with my state right now. I don't think I'm gonna be able to risk it. That was a I don't know how that zombie back there didn't see me or come after me. But um I think we're going to have to pass on this one. I think I need to get to that, that supermarket area and see what that's all about. might be a little bit more crowded, but I think the risk is going to be well worth it. That, that barn's just crawling. Let's take one last look at what's going on here. Yeah, let's see. we got one guy coming at us over there, kind of. Some of the zombies, obviously, I mean, some of them crawl, some of them run, or uh, some of them are standing and some of them are crawling on all fours, and I can't tell if the ones that are on all fours seem to be a little bit smarter. Um, it almost seems that way, because every time I've gotten chased, now that I think about it recently, it's been by the ones on all fours, so I don't know if their awareness is maybe a little bit higher or something, but the guys that are walking around on two legs, they, uh, they seem to be able to pretty much walk right by you, and if you're not bugging them, they won't even really come after you unless you are just totally noticeable. So, yeah, I think that's a that's a bust back there, guys. Then we're going to get to the next uh, supermarket. So, follow this road. We'll stay... Actually, let's see. We crossed the road, didn't we? Yeah. Let's, uh... Let's see here. Yeah, we're going to get back up here to the to the road that we were following. And, um, let's see. We'll be heading into a much larger city area. That up there, I'm not actually seeing anything on my map about that. Not quite sure what's going on with that. Um, so, let's go ahead and run up there and see what we got. Let's see if I can't run through here and not get noticed. Ah, hey, why not? Wait a minute, let's check the perception. Yeah, we're clear. Yeah, nothing. No zombies, not much to find, usually. I think that's kind of what it comes down to. Yeah, alright. Well, let's get up to... Kind of getting an, uh, I can't really tell if it's my um, the, the software I use for capturing video. Uh, it's actually very fluid software, so um, I don't notice very very much of a FPS frame rate drop. But kind of feels like I'm getting a little bit uh, frame rate deal right now. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. I haven't played the. I haven't. It's my system's been on all day, so I may just need to kind of restart or something. really sure there's going to be much up here to find, considering it's not really even on my map that I'm, that I'm using here. Um, but uh, since we're kind of going this way anyway, we may as well check. And keep an eye on the, uh, on the hydration meter down there, definitely getting a little thirsty. Uh, definitely going to get some, uh, I think I have a soda or something I'm carrying on me. I'll use that here pretty soon. We'll see if we can't find something in here. Oh, we do have a looks like a building in here. It's interoperable. And uh, sometimes, yeah. Let's see. Oh, that looks promising.
Well, I'm not going to get my hopes up here because it isn't listed on my map as a as a a decent find, but um, definitely going to check it out because why not? Come on, come on, come on. Get in this building. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's much in here. A couple empty cans. And that's lame. Okay, well, nothing, nothing much. Let's go ahead and drink some uh, soda. A Coca Cola. Let's go ahead and get to it. And there was one guy up here up by this wall. Yeah, there he is. I, I saw him when I was crossing in earlier. I, I had a feeling he was still up here. So we'll go ahead and uh, play the patience game. Wait for this guy to get by us. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, he's actually, looks like he's walking away from us now. That works. Okay, so we are down to no more units of hydration or, or items of hydration, so to speak. So uh, it is now priority uh, for us to get a backpack, um, fill it up, find find stuff that we can survive off of. Basically, we're kind of I, I like to stay away from this. Uh, the, well, I mean, we're always surviving in this game, in this mod, but I like to try to stay away from the. Uh, I have to worry about my next meal, my next my next hydration uh, stop, so to speak. I try to stay away from that, but um, I try to stay one step away from that all the time. But we're kind of back to that with the uh, with the lack of water bottle and soda or anything now. So I'm not really sure how far you can go um, with no hydration. I've 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 uh, I've waited a long time. The last character I played, I uh, had a busted leg, he was thirsty, I had nothing to drink, and I crawled forever, I think it was, it seemed like it was at, like about an hour at least, uh, no joke, and I, I finally got into the city, lo and behold, I found a dead player, and I um, searched his bag, and he had a lot of stuff on him, and, and so I was able to rehydrate, but I don't know where it ends with your character, I don't know how hungry and how thirsty you can get before it just it's kind of game over so I'm sure there's a limit obviously otherwise I don't think those those meters would be there uh, then again uh, I don't know I mean I really I guess I really don't know but all right so I think this is uh, Zelen Zelenogorsk the big bigger city here definitely seen a lot more uh, residential looks like there's a church up there um, which yep there's supposed to be a church uh, kind of the north north side of the town uh, on the very south side of the town is the supermarket, according to my map. In fact, it is south of this where this road intersects. So uh, we're gonna head down here. Uh, being that's a supermarket, I don't know if that attracts other players. I mean, uh, everything attracts people, I guess. Any any point of interest, but I don't. I, again, I, we're just gonna find out what the heck that means. Um, also next to a, a carport or some kind of hangar for something, uh, according to my map. So let's see. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, we'll see where we go with this. Um, and the uh, High Valley Barn is uh, that we're going to go for after this is going to be south east of the. They're uh, pretty much just actually straight south of the city. So I'm assuming it's going to be down there somewhere. But um, we'll, we'll worry about that later. First things first, priority. Um, crap. What was that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for making some noise, zombie, because I would have run right into you. Okay, where are we finding a supermarket down here? When you're approaching these larger cities, um, they can definitely be 
appear to be uh, kind of daunting. Uh, I mean, you, yeah, you can totally just go in and guns a blazing, but uh, what I found is if you crawl your way around the, the uh, this kind of a perimeter of zombies a lot of times, and um, once you kind of get around that perimeter, uh, it's actually not too bad inside the city. They're they're pretty they're, their pathfinding is pretty terrible. So once you start walking around inside of buildings and stuff. A lot of times they're not even really inside the buildings at all, and um, and if they are, their their uh, the pathfinding is just horrid. So you can even if they see you half the time, as long as you don't make a shot and get them all after you, uh, you can kind of just walk away from them inside the building, and they'll they'll try to they'll walk after you, but they like, I don't think they can run, and a lot of times if they do run, they they kind of get all messed up and so <laughs> <inside. coughs> excuse me inside the building. God, still still with this flu, guys, so apologize about that. Uh, man, I hope I'm feeling better here pretty soon. Um, so yeah, I, I think I saw the, uh, the carport area down here. Ah, Jesus. Get away from me, zombie. Leave me alone. Okay, I do hear one of those weird crawly ones over here. I think, I think the crawly ones make the most noise. Um, I'm going to try to get into this little area right here. Hopefully that guy right there doesn't see me. Oh man, I hear one right there. Oh god damn. Holy shit, that's flare. Oh my god, I think we're done guys. I think we are done. Oh my god, I can't believe it ended that way. Wow, that guy came up behind me. Well, that's that. That's that is that is how it goes in DayZ mod. Uh, that guy must have been following me. He's uh, so this is what happens. Yeah, you you're in the major cities and um, you can get uh, definitely get ambushed by people. So uh, yeah, it looks like that's that's the end of uh, of that character. Uh, go to player selection screen to continue in game. So I don't, yeah, it says you're dead. So that's that. Wow, I can't even, and, I, and I'm not good enough with the sounds yet to identify what he was using as a weapon. Um, sounded like it was a single shot something, but um, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, could have been an assault rifle. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, well, gonna start over. So, uh, that's, that pretty much does it, I think, for this video anyway. So, uh, we'll see you on the next one.